And I'm going to quickly cut across to my colleague Shivani Gupta, who's going to be bringing us some breaking news from the world of sports. Thanks a lot, Sanjana. Speaking exclusively to headlines today, former BCCI President Shashank Manohar has strongly asked for a CBI probe into the IPL fixing allegations and has asked for the IPL Season 7 to be suspended. Uh, this is uh, exclusive and breaking coming on headlines today right now. In his statement to headlines today, Shashank has said that Srinivasan should heed Supreme Court's advice and step down for a fair probe to be conducted. He further adds, that after all these controversial developments, the Indian Premier League Season 7 should be scrapped and that a CBI probe should be ordered to dig deep into the muck. There you can read he's uh, talking about the integrity of the game uh, uh, coming under the question. He says the people's faith has to be restored and for that, if we have to suspend one season, then we should go ahead and do it. In fact, he has also raised questions on shifting of IPL 7 matches to the UAE, saying holding matches in a known betting haven will only hamper the IPL's league reputation even further. He says that the BCCI's decision of abstaining from holding matches in the Middle East hasn't been revoked yet and the BCCI should not go ahead with it. He believes that whatever has been revealed up till now could well be the tip of the iceberg. My colleague Shisha Reddy is joining us from Chennai where she is keeping a close eye on N. Srinivasan and the developments there. Shisha, AC Mutaya spoke to headlines today earlier today asking for the same, asking for Srinivasan to step down. Now Shashank Manohar, a very well respected man in the cricketing circles is coming out with a scathing attack not just on Srinivasan but on the league itself. Uh, this is sure to put more pressure on N. Srinivasan who's so far been very defiant. Well, that's right, uh, Shivani. He ha the pressure has been mounting upon N. Srinivasan to step down, uh, not just step aside. Because remember, earlier even when uh, Gurunath Mayapan ha was, in was involved in this and when he was arrested, even the pressure was mounting up. Then even that time also he did not step down. He just stepped aside and uh, and the day-to-day -day affairs were, were uh, taken care of. Uh, Mr. Dalmia, but at this point in time, he has no other uh, way to just uh, step down. But again, uh, he has been talking to his uh, legal team to see, to explore legal avenues. But he has uh, no options left in before him. Him and uh, the only thing that we can see at this point is that uh, he has to step down for a fair investigation as uh, uh, observed by the Supreme Court. But will he do it or will he actually take time to do it? But yeah, he has no time on one hand to avoid further embarrassment. He has to step down is, is, is the final thing that uh, even, uh, you know, the, all quarters and all uh, the criticism has been come. Even AC Mutia has been uh, saying that uh, he has to step down because uh, it is getting murkier uh, by the day. And uh, with all the revelations and all the serious allegations, in fact, coming uh, uh, from uh, the, the report that was submitted, in fact. So these all things say that uh, Srinivasan has no other uh, choice, just, just step down and for a fair investigation. Yes, uh, Shrisha, stay with us. Let's play out uh, that statement for our viewers once again. Uh, remember, uh, this is not just any man speaking. This is a former BCCI president, someone who's very well respected in the cricketing circles. So Shank Manohar, you know, known as one of the few good administrators left in the cricket body. And when Shashank Manohar comes out and says that all IPL matches should be probed and a CBI probe should be ordered, uh, uh, it is very, very important for the rest of the BCCI to pay heed. He's saying the SC's observation is that there are very, very serious allegations made in the report. And unless the BCCI president steps down, no f fair probe can be conducted. He goes on to then say that I had said a long time back, that all IPL matches should be investigated. I feel that a thorough probe needs to be done and that probe should be done by the CBI and not uh, uh, by a BCCI internal probe panel like it had done last year. But interestingly, what Shashank Manohar is also saying is that IPL Season 7 should be scrapped. There is no need to hold the IPL Season 7, especially in current atmosphere. He says, given the latest developments, it's my view that until the faith of the people in the integrity of the game is restored, no matches should be held and the IPL tournament for the year 2014 should be suspended. A very important quote also coming from him as far as Season 7 is concerned, the decision to shift matches to the UAE because of the general elections in India. That decision has already come under a lot of uh, criticism. You know, uh, people uh, have been tongue-in-cheek about the BCCI's decision to take matches to the UAE, Sharjah, Dubai and so on. 
which are known to be betting havens. Of course, there's a whole history of uh, betting syndicates working from Sharjah and uh, uh, the, I mean the 2000 uh, uh, fixing case as well. And yet the BCCI are deciding to go ahead. What Shashank is talking about is the fact that there is a rule in the BCCI or it was a considered understanding in the BCCI that no matches will be held in the UAE. Then why have the BCCI gone ahead and held matches uh, of the IPL Season 7 in the UAE when this decision has not been revoked and that this would be a big mistake, he says. Importantly, he also adds that whatever has been revealed so far could well be the tip of the iceberg. Borea Majumdar, Consulting Editor, Sports India Today is joining us. Borea, extremely strong words coming in from Shashank Manohar. Let's talk about the first thing first. He is saying N. Srinivasan should step down. Exactly what A.C. Mutaya, another former president, had told us this morning. He said uh, the Supreme Court has said that in the first four lines of what the Supreme Court said yesterday. He's endorsed that. So it's, it's a clear-cut indication that the BCCI bigwigs and... Perhaps the most respectable voice in the BCCI in Shashank Manohar has endorsed that point. So, yes, I mean, Shashank Manohar has not... See, it is a clear indictment what has happened in the Supreme Court yesterday. So, Shashank Manohar need not have to specify it uh, on his own. But very frankly, what he has said is, this is now a fait accompli. And he has actually gone ahead and mentioned what you were just mentioning. So, yes, I mean, exactly what A.C. Muthaya and some of the others have said. But it is basically what the Supreme Court had said yesterday, clearly showing that... Mr. Srinivasan is now a fait accompli. Question is not how or why, it is when. And what about the IPL Season 7 whole day yesterday, Borea? We've been discussing this question as well. Should the league go ahead under current circumstances? Nobody knows what happens tomorrow when the next hearing happens. Uh, but are there any takers for this in the BCCI? If Shashank Manohar says there will be taker Shivani, no question about it. At this point in time, I can tell you that Shashank Manohar has been called by several people from within the board. Several people who have asked him to step forward and even become BCCI president if there is an election. So if this man says something, given his squeaky clean image, given his image uh, that he can clean Indian cricket up, Obviously, there will have to be takers. This is a point that you were mentioning uh, uh, yesterday and we had a long debate about it that should season 7 go ahead. Shashank Manohar clearly stating that season 7 should be suspended with immediate effect. And he go goes on to say that the BCCI and its members should remind each other that it was never about money and profit. It should always be about the game first. And at this point in time, money and profit has taken precedence. Now, this is a huge statement. For the first time, a former BCCI president talking to headlines today, giving out this statement on headlines today, saying that IPL season 7 should be suspended with immediate effect. Yes, and what uh, Shashank Manohar has also added, something that he has talked about previously as well, that all IPN season 6 matches should be investigated and it should be an independent body doing the investigation. In this case, he's mentioning uh, the CBI. Before we get to just what kind of pressure this can create, Borea, a final comment on Shashank's uh, statement about playing matches in the UAE. You know, this decision has already become the butt of jokes, really, in the cricketing circles, that while we're trying to fight fixing and betting, IPL Season 7 is all set to be played in the UAE. Massive point. And in fact, if you read that statement, which uh, both of us have read several times, you will see that he's saying the BCCI had taken a decision to abstain or refrain from playing in the UAE. And he also says that he doesn't know, despite being in the board, for so long and has been a, a perhaps one of the most reputed BCCI presidents of all time that he doesn't know when this decision was evoked, that when did the BCCI agree to start playing in the UAE. So he's extremely concerned that in this ambience of real uncertainty, suspicion and confusion, if you decide to play in the UAE, what does that mean for IPL, brand IPL and for the fans? And he's clearly saying that you cannot do that because this will only add to, you know, tarnishing the image of the IPL further. As you said, very, very strong words coming from this BCCI patriarch and I am sure this will resonate very strongly within the echelons of the board. Yes, it's been a day now, more than a day since that uh, very strong criticism from the Supreme Court and really we've not seen any action on N. Srinivasan. Uh, apart from a handful of people, 
others have really not come out and spoken against N. Srinivasan. I'll take that question to both Srisha and Borya that is there being enough, enough pressure being created on uh, Srinivasan? But let's first tell you the updates that we have received. It seems he will brazen it yes, out, Shirani, take it to right. his I post. Mean, Perhaps, Despite severe uh, criticism by the Supreme uh, Court, and the headlines is, today has now learned that the board president could use the point is a that. time bound the, the probe point is, you know, more as a ploy to cling you to will his always chair. See this in yes, Borek, if you can just hold on to your thoughts, I'll just want to apply an update out, and I'll come to you. But what kind of people are coming out? The AC Muthayas of the world, the Shashank Manohars of the world, the Shashank Manohar coming out is super significant in the current ambience of the board. These yes. are big members. It is not as if, you know, it's, it's that they are junior members who will follow. They are people who will define the agenda. So while we are talking about a handful of people, but yesterday Ravi Savan joined us, BCCI Vice President, two former BCCI Presidents, you know, some serious names coming out against Mr. Srinivasan. So take it from me and the kind of calls I can tell you confidentially that Shashank Manohar is receiving from within the BCCI's other uh, uh, affiliation, so affiliate units. The clamor is only growing and the writing is on the wall.